Rhetorical Quest. Take this last little bit on anxiety and talk about kind of the other side of the coin. Now let me tell you, I've been teaching speech in one form or another for almost a decade. And during that time, I have seen students get nervous. I've seen them do all kinds of things because of their nervousness. I see them swaying like this. I see students who are unwilling to take a step to, the, to one side or the other because they're worried that if they move, things are going to go wrong. I've seen them shake. I've seen them holding papers in their hand and scared to move. But do you know what I see much more often? I don't see students being nervous. What I see is a lot of people being cocky. Cockiness is the other side of the coin. Aristotle placed cowardliness and foolhardiness as two sides of that are both extremes. And extremes in Aristotle's philosophy were almost always seen as bad. Between the two, he put bravery. I want you to give your speech bravely. I want you to stand up and to do things despite your nervousness. I want you to move into a type of uh, anxiety that is empowering, not debilitating. But I still want you to realize that you need to do some works. Not having adequate fear is really almost as bad or maybe worse than having no fear at all. While so many people see themselves as scared of public speaking, I think a lot of people are not scared enough. See, you need to be a little bit scared. You need to be scared enough to practice. You need to be just a slightly worried that if you don't practice and prepare, you won't do a good job, because it's the truth. If you don't practice and you don't prepare, you are not going to do a good job. And that's what I want for you. The purpose of making these videos, the reason I decided that I would make a series of videos about public speaking, is I want to get this information out to as many people as possible. And, you know, I put it off for a long time. I wanted to have good production values. And eventually I decided I just can't do that. It needs to happen now. There needs to be public speaking videos out there now that give the average person the ability to get out there and give a speech. I'm, it needs to be done. Don't think you can give a speech without practicing. And don't think you can do it with just a little bit of practice either. All of the years that I've engaged in public speaking, every single one of them, I have been scared and I have prepped and I have prepared and you know what whenever I've messed up and not done enough preparation I've done a very poor job it has to be done I can't do it without practicing you can't do it without practicing you have to prepare your speech and so I'm not saying you need to be scared to death in fact the previous video, I hope, gave you some tools to where you never have to be that worried. But I am saying that you shouldn't be cocky. I'm asking you not to try and wing it.